Hello, I'm Benoît Piranda. I will comment this short video that introduces our work to create a coordinate system over a set of modular robots and shows some results in simulation and with real robots. In order to introduce the context of this work, I will show you some practical examples. You can see here three blinky box, which are Lego-like cubic robots with two kinds of connectors. Connectors on the sides allow full connections that provide a relative position and orientation of a connected neighbor. So, it is easy to understand how to create a coordinate system on this set. First, the left block is elected as a leader, or coordinate system origin, CSO in short. Its 3D position is 0, 0, 0, and its orientation is defined as north, according to the compass on the right. This module sends a message to all its neighbors Precising the relative position of the neighbor and the direction of the port of emission, here east. The middle module receives this message with its position, and knowing the receiver port, it can deduce its orientation. With this new information, this blinky block can send the new position to all the neighbors but the sender. Then the last robot on the right receives the message from its local north. It can deduce its orientation, which is east, relatively to the CSO. In this second example, the CSO is connected to its neighbor by the top connector. This connector loses the relative orientation of the module. Then, the top right blinky block gets its position, but not its orientation. As a consequence, the last robot on the left can be placed at four different positions. The 3D atoms are quasi-spherical robots with 12 connectors. A connected robot may have two different orientations at a connector. We define the orientation of a 3D atom by the name of the connector where the x-axis pass through. Here, the orientation of the green module may be 7 or 1. We propose a disco algorithm that is able to solve this problem in dense sets of robots. The presence of many loops in a set allows to simplify the list of possible positions and orientations of the robots. DISCO is a full distributed algorithm using three agents. The first step is the election of a CSO using a unique ID store in the robots. A gradient message is flowed from the CSO to define the first list of possible motions and orientations, which are stored in a list of transformation matrices. During the solving step, each time a module reduces its number of matrices, it sends this update to its neighbors in order to step-by-step step reduce the number of matrices of raw robots. At the end, robots can be well-placed and oriented, or only localized, or in an untrust state. A detailed version of the algorithm is available in the paper. It's time to show some results. First, a simulation of visible sim of the running of our algorithm on a large set of 44,000 of 3D atoms, describing a dense model of Lego guy. All the modules are colored in green, indicating that they are well placed and oriented. The 3D grid at the end shows that the received coordinates are all correct. The DISCO algorithm has been implemented in Blinky Block Robots 2. Here, we propose some experiments that show the algorithm running on several configurations. The black cube is not a blinky block, but just a powering device.
This last experiment shows an application of the coordinate system on blicky blocks. After receiving the final position, robots set the color, picking it in a picture at the pixel corresponding to the position. Then, after a short time, they change to the color of the pixel placed at the right, creating a sliding effect.